A school bus careens into several parked cars in Elk Grove, nearly pinning a homeowner. The crash caught on this surveillance video. Now, authorities want to know what happened here. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. New at 6, CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is getting answers on what led up to the crash. Rachel. Well, CHP says the driver was not under the influence of alcohol or drugs, was not suffering from a medical emergency, and had been driving this route all the time. They want to see the video from that bus, and so do we, after a crash that could have injured the woman who lives here, who happened to be home at the time. I was standing right here getting ready. Maria Tansioka recalls the moment a car came crashing through her home Wednesday afternoon, pushed by a school bus. I heard the boom and then push me back. This surveillance camera footage shows the impact nearly pinning her in her bathroom. Luckily there was no um, door here or else I'll be crushed. The Elk Grove Unified School District and CHP are investigating what went wrong. One student was reportedly on the bus and there were no injuries. The bus is equipped with seatbelts and a camera system, but footage has not yet been released. And we're waiting for something to happen, whether it's a car or, or a bus. Michael Torres lives across the street. He says buses and cars speed along Lake Mont Avenue because it's a clear stretch of road. This 25 mile hour zone and the cars are traveling as fast as 80 miles per hour. Yeah. That is sick. Torres says he's spoken with city council about installing stop signs and speed bumps. Late last year, the city installed speed limit signs. Are they going to listen now? Torres is worried about safety, and now that he has young children, is considering moving. Well, we're thinking about putting a concrete fence up, just as he is now. But we shouldn't have to go that far. It will be better to have speed bumps. The city tells us that they have not received a petition for speed bumps along Lake Mont, and that's the first step in the process. Ultimately, though, 75% of the people in this area would have to agree to it. We'll see how it plays out, but thank goodness Maria and her family are okay. Rachel, thanks so much for that live report. Now, we looked further into the seatbelt law for school buses. Since 2005, new buses have been required to have a seatbelt. In August of 2018, then Governor Jerry Brown signed a bill requiring all buses be retrofitted with restraint systems or replaced by July of 2035. A CHP study found more than 54% of buses had them by 2016.